Okay, we're gonna go straight into the video since I can think of a creative title screen for this video. I'm going to first wash my hands to get all that bacteria off before I really go into washing my face because you don't want to put that bacteria all over your face. It will just clog up your pores more. To wash my face, I'm using Bio's Pore Unclogging Scrub. This is my most favorite product. I'm gonna first wet my face and then apply it in circular massaging motions, making sure to really hit, hit where my pores are because you don't want any dead skin on your face. You want a nice, smooth, clean surface for the foundation to go on, otherwise it will look dry and cakey. Another bit of advice, when you wash off or dry off your face or body, always pat your face or body because you don't want to cause extra wrinkles in the future. To really make sure there's nothing left on my face, I'm using my Sea Breeze Astergent and my Cotton Rounds to really get off any rest of the dirt or micro beads that were left behind. You're going to want to moisturize your face to prevent any extra oil or overly dry skin to cause any cake face. I'm using an anti-puff cream for my under eyes, being gentle as I pat the product in with either my middle finger or my ring finger, and then I'm dotting my face with a face moisturizer. Try to follow the little peach fuzz you have to help lay down a smooth surface. You don't have to do this up, but I'm going to moisturize my lips with Best Damn Beauty's lip mask and then I'm going to let all that moisture sink into my skin. You don't want to apply any makeup on top of this stuff. It will cake. It will also cause your pores to clog. After the moisturizer dries, apply your primer. I'm first using a poreless primer. I'm using one by Too Faced. I'm applying it to the major areas where my largest pores are to create a flat surface. When and if you do this, always follow the hairs on your face, even with every product you use, otherwise they will become your enemy. You want to do this primarily because if you go against them, they will stick up and cause your face to dry out and cause cake face. For this video, I'm mixing my CoverGirls True Blend Primer with my Rimmel Stay Matte Mousse Foundation on the back of my hand, and then begin to dot it all over my face, usually starting with my forehead and starting to go down. Don't add a lot of product at first, add small dots along your face because you want to add only when you know for sure you need more because you don't want to add too much, otherwise that will cause the caking instead, which is very hard to mask afterwards. And this can also dry your skin and cause more acne because it builds up in your pores. I'll be using one of two brushes, a round or flat head brush such as these are best in my opinion on applying thicker foundations such as mousse. For this video I'll be using the flat head foundation brush while using soft light strokes so the product will not clog in the bristles or move all over your face where you don't want the foundation to be. Please be gentle around your eyes, it's the most sensitive skin on your face and you just want to use extremely light strokes around your eyes, I mean serious guys be super gentle. Any extra product you have, just try brushing it down along your chin, down your neck, and to your chest. You always want to hit your chest, guys. You want your face to match met, <laughs> your face to match your neck. Otherwise, it will look just very, very odd seeing your face being perfect in one color and your neck being splotchy or a different color. To really make sure my foundation is nicely blended out and my skin stays hydrated throughout the day, with the foundation on, I take a damp beauty blender and start patting it all over my face. I mean, real ba really bouncing it on my skin. I'm hitting every single area. So just hit every single area underneath your eyes, around the edges of your nose, around your lips, down your neck. You really want to blend that uh, foundation out. I wasn't planning on showing my concealer routine in this video, but I'm going to now. I'm using Urban Decay's Naked Skin Concealer. I'm going to apply it underneath my eyes in a triangle fashion along my nose and on my forehead. And then I'm going to start blending it in with my damp beauty blender, the same one I used while on my foundation to help blend the foundation with the concealer. This will also help keep everything smooth and look fresh and like real skin. I'm going to also apply any extra of the concealer around my eyes and my eyebrows and along my chin. To 
prevent creasing and to keep the concealer in place, I'm using Kat Von D's Shade and Light Palette in Lyric and Lucid, mixing the two colors together and pat patting it under my eyes with a soft brush. And I'm seriously just patting it. Don't brush this stuff on, just pat it on. To make sure my foundation doesn't go anywhere or crease, I'm going to be using a pressed powder by Remel and a kabuki brush and very lightly patting on just a little bit of powder each time onto my major areas like where there's a lot of bare skin and my creased, most likely creased areas which is like my nose and under my eyes. Don't apply a lot otherwise this can cause cake face also so just apply a little bit. I know it doesn't look like that but I swear there's only a little bit on that brush. And then afterwards, we're going to go back to that beauty blender and take off any extra powder with its dampness by pressing larger bounces along the face. To set your entire face, use any setting spray you desire. I'm using NYX's Dewy Finish to apply all over my face. This will keep it hydrated and keep it looking fresh. This video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I tried making this video as quick as possible, my quick, easy, almost every single day, but flawless application of liquid mousse foundation. This is the one I usually always use like every single day that I just have to rush my makeup on. So I figured I'll do an individual mousse foundation tutorial since you always really see people use the liquids. So this is just the way I apply it. Not everyone applies it the same. Some people find other ways to make it seem flawless. This is the way I make it seem flawless. So I really hope that this video and tutorial will help you in your adventures in the makeup world <laughs> or any other creativities that could help you. So as you can see for the updates, sorry I have not been posting I've been editing, but it's been taking a really long time to edit because just a lot of chaos has been in my life from bad things been happening to me trying to fix my car to my niece being down. So it's just a lot of chaos and a lot of everywhere. But now that they're all gone and my, even my parents are gone, but I still live in the house like full of eight people. I'm currently trying to get back into doing more videos. As you can tell, this is one that I'm putting up before my older videos that I have just recently, all, not recently, <laughs> that I had filmed but I haven't gotten to editing. As you can tell, there's a back thing, the curtains, <laughs> makeshift. I decided to put it back because I didn't want you guys seeing that crummy background that was always really messy. So you'll be seeing the background more often so that will also encourage me to also do more videos since I will feel less chaotic in the background. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos from me, just hit that subscribe button, leave comments and likes also. I will definitely get back to the comments. I've been slacking on that also, but I'm getting going, <laughs> I'll be getting back into them very soon. I love you guys a lot, especially those who have stayed with me as far along as I've been going. So I love you guys. Bye.